Hey traders, it's Mark Owen here from the Lifestyle Traders Club. It's Monday afternoon and it's 3.27. I just want to give you a little overview of the currency markets as it stands right now. Um, we've been focusing primarily on dollar strength over the last few weeks. And just to give you an insight on why that is, as you can see, the, this is the dollar index chart in front of you. And predominantly, you've got what we would call a downtrend. And that is because the market is forming lower lows and lower highs. Now, what we're trading here is this retracement of the dollar index. So it's, it's, with it being a retracement, this is what we would call a phase two. And this is dollar strength, even though it is a retracement and the trend is still down. So with, with us trading this short term dollar strength into about 91.20 or 9200, this will be where we'll be looking to be very aggressive with our trades that we're currently in, or we'll actually exit those trades. So. If you were in the Lifestyle Traders Club this morning, you would have received an update from us about midday giving a trading opportunity on sterling. And I'm just going to run through this with you right now. So if we look at this cable chart, what you can see is a daily chart and you can see our previous trade in here and you can see a little trade in here, although you can't make head nor tail of it because we're too zoomed out. And you can also see this trade here that I've got planned for the future. And this is one that we'll be looking at to trade sort of end of February, mid-March, dependent on the setup. Uh, this is what we would forecast as a seasonal trade um, and tying it in with technical. So that's something we're forecasting to come in around that sort of time. However, looking more importantly at today and how we can profit from the market today. Well, our guys are doing pretty well today and what a great way to start the week. And the reason for that is around midday, you'll have got a trading opportunity from me uh, when the cable was in about 1.363 in and around this region here. For advanced traders, you were able to trade it through here, um, trading it short, which is our bias until we get down here. So you're able to trade this, but only advanced traders because you would know what to do if the market started to go against you. For new traders, what we set out was a simple set of rules and you can see our analysis here. So this is effectively the bottom of the red line is where we were going short, target one and target two is down here. So this is in conjunction with our correlation of the dollar index. Now, any other trading opportunities we're looking at were the euro now we're, our bias is short on the euro although we don't want to go short just yet we would like to see a bit more of a retracement which means you see this red arrow here this is what we want to see we want to see price effectively push up into this region here and we'll look to sell before then heading long from somewhere down here and this will be a, a trading opportunity that in theory this will be the one we're trying to trade right now something like that and then moving forward we'll be looking for this trading opportunity from down here remember these risk profiles aren't correct and we'll be looking at that going a lot further than the current target that i've put up there so that's just to give you an insight on how we'll plan our trades and what sort of information we'll be looking at going forward Another market we're interested in is the dollar yen. This is a, a chart we, we really are quite excited about. Um, right now we're seeing the dollar yen selling off. This is probably due to sort of insecurity with the markets and see after last week's shenanigans with the equity markets declining 10% and 11% as you'll have seen in our newsletter this morning. But what that means is that leaves the money flow into safe havens such as gold and yen. And therefore you're seeing in this instance, although we're trading dollar strength, here what we're seeing is we're seeing yen strengthening against dollar because this is a, a money flow issue from equities into safe havens. Now we've got major structure levels just here at 108.40s and 108.50s, but we've also got this really long term trend line down here that you probably can't see but goes back a long, 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 long way. So any sort of buying opportunities through here is very aggressive, but I think it's well worth it. If you're looking to be a little bit more conservative, then you'd wait for a close above the trend line. Look for a pullback. That would be an opportunity or this would be the most conservative opportunity once we've got above the neckline. 
and then targeting 113 so there's some there's some 500 pips available here on this particular market and you know I think it's a, a trade well worth taking with little risk you know current price 108.50 stops 107.90 60 point stop for 550 potential points that's that's a trade worth risking in my opinion so we're going to look at the flip side chart of this which is the other safe haven which is gold and what we're seeing here right now is we're seeing a strengthening of gold this is the four hourly chart you can see predominantly we've had lower lows lower highs until just recently we've changed into higher highs higher lows higher high higher low and now we're just pulling back up and i'm looking for price to come into this structure point here which should give us a nice selling opportunity to take this back down to the 1300 barrier where we can look for extended long positions so this is this is the way i'm seeing this market which will be a trade like this followed by a trade like this and i expect this to continue going i think we're going to see continued weakness of the us dollar potentially um once it gets to 92 however you know levels are there for a reason they're there to be broken so if we do see the dollar index break um, and go to the upside then we'll see 1300 break and this market continue to decline okay so that's it from today's overview of the markets uh, if you do like the video content that we do put out there's one way to let us know and we really do appreciate it is by hitting like share the video with friends and uh, fellow traders comment below and you know the best way to keep in contact with us and keeping up to date with all our latest videos is hit subscribe. Once you hit subscribe, these videos will come straight to your inbox without you even having to look. Okay, traders, have a great week and we'll send some more info out to you later in the week. Bye-bye.